Hey guys, what's going on? This is Unique Gamer Raju back with an another video. And in this video, I'll be just helping you the guys of the way how I play with my PS4 controller or uh, with the CSGO on a PC. See, as you can see, my PS4 controller connected, as you can see, the light with the USB uh, cable. This is connected to PC right now. So, what you have to do, this is very easy, guys. Just open the stream. I do play CSGO on my PC. So, I used to uh, I play with my PS4 controller only I do not use keyboard or mouse this is very easy and it's almost like works like a scuff controller so just open the stream as you open the stream uh, it's uh, by default you can uh, for almost all the new games you can directly plug and play the PS4 controller you, get, you don't need to do the, any settings and uh, also like almost like third party uh, third party software so, like as you can see the down over here this is uh, DS4 you don't need any this of these DS4. You don't need any of this software. So I'm just showing you. Or uh, you can also use the multiple ways. So first thing first to play the CS:GO settings and also the default keyboard layout. Everything I'll be showing you with my CS:GO uh, with the PS4 controller. Now what you just need to do after op after opening the stream, just click on this one big chip big picture mode. Just click on this one. Okay, we are here. And after opening that one, as you can see on the top here corner settings button just click on the settings now you can see on the left side the controller settings okay just click on the controller settings by default you'll be not having this playstation 4 controller connected over here so what you have to do i mean like you have to connect over here just remove this cable you okay, know there is nothing connected ps4 has been disconnected now what you have to do just plug in just plug in okay just plug in now you can see the ps4 controller connected it's like default layout man i mean like the steam latest software uh, latest update automatically detects the ps4 controller so you have to click this one the ps4 controller support and it, it this is by default you don't need to touch this one then after that first thing first first of all after connecting the ps4 controller you have to calibrate your ps4 controller i mean like put the ps4 controller on the flat surface so that the button layouts everything will work perfectly for you so you have to almost like five to ten seconds you have to put it on a flat surface just click on the calibrate and it automatically does then after that this is the settings over here then let's go back let's go back to this one let's exit the big picture mode i'll be just showing you the in-game settings right now the big picture mode now let's go uh, in my game library my game csgo let's start my csgo and i'll be showing you the settings the way how i use my all the buttons layouts and everything I think you have to go and use this settings brothers why because these are worth using I do play regularly CSGO with this controller only I think uh, you can also check out my KD it's good not even that bad ok let me uh, show you the settings guys and, uh, and uh, I do not recommend you to use the third party software for this one uh, use the steam software only by default almost all the new games from the 2015 year almost all the new games support the uh, PS4 controller directly without any using of the third party software so it's still loading for me uh, let's wait on load faster yeah we are good to go so we have started with the bad hidden path entertainment now see guys i have an nvidia gtx 1060 6gb graphic card msi so then after that uh, you can click on this options and click on the controller if at all you click on the controller then these are the default loadouts i mean like default layout so you can also i mean like uh, put the settings whatever you want so just click on in-game controls as you can see these are my i mean like i kept it by default i mean like these are the customized loadouts so what you have to do this this is for l2 right just click on this one this is for l2 just put it for jump so it likes like a scuff controller and you also put the sensitivity over here, soft pull point. Okay. I mean, like it's up to you guys, but this is the best setting so far. So have a look on this. And this is for L2. Then go back. And the L1 settings is to uh, select next weapon. I use this one. Select next weapon. Okay. Then after that, go back. And uh, this uh, share button is for the scoreboard. Share button I use for the scoreboard to watch my kills and deaths. Okay. Then after that, go back. And here comes the D pad. All the four all the four buttons okay just click on this d-pad generic d-pad okay then the up button i use for use button like e okay then the left button is for oat yes to oat for the new map like that okay then after that the right button is to use microphone so that we can give commands to our friends 
who have played, I mean, like, uh, we can give commands to the friends, like, uh, it's very easy and very good. And after that, the down button is to drop weapons or drop bombs so that your friends can carry your weapons or bombs, okay? These are the settings, guys. This is very useful. And after that, go pad. The D-pad settings have been finished, the four D-pads. And here comes the move button, okay? Move button, see. This is analog. Move button. It should be like this only. And the click action should be like the crouch so that it will be useful for you. As you can see the setting, this is perfect. And after that, go back. And guys, you must be careful. Uh, see, you can see this PS button over here. See, PS button. Sorry, not the PS button, the touchpad. So by default, we'll be having a six axis on the PS4 controller. I mean, like it has a motion sensor in the controller. So PC cannot handle this one. So by, by default, PS4 can automatically detect and uh, can reduce the motion sensor. So just click on this one, touchpad. In game action, it should be none. By default, you don't have this. By default, you'll be having like camera or move option. So you should put it for none, okay? If at all you don't put it for none, then if at all you move your controller like this, then your screen also get vibrated and tilt up and down. So you should go with none. I'm like, uh, I got fed up of this one like one day, you know? I mean, like even I was trying to use the PS4 controller, but I got fed up of this settings and I threw my controller away. And after that, uh, after one day, I just found a good solution for this, how to try. So I keep on trying everything uh, to find a good solution. Then I found this one for none. Uh, then you should you should put this one as none. Okay. Then after that, go back. And after that, uh, this camera setting, this uh, this one. Okay. This analog should be the camera. I mean, like move move this one analog and alternate fire. Uh, click for alternate fire like zoom. I mean, like if at all use the sniper scope, you can use the alternate uh, fire like scope. Okay. This is very good. And mouse sensitivity, I kept it here why? because uh, I'm a pro quad, quad player. I mean, like I'm not a pro quad player, but I, I do play very good. Okay. Then I put my sensitivity high. Okay. Then after that, go back. Then after that, you can see these four defo uh, default buttons: the triangle, square, crouch, and X. Once you press this one, you get a Xbox surface over here. X Y B A. It's like same everything as the PS4. So the top one Y is to for the buy. Uh, then after that, X is to reload. I mean, like everything uh, same like the ps4 are used for court settings and battlefield everything looks the same and b is for crouch almost all the games have the same thing and x x or a for jump this one almost all the games and uh, controllers have the same thing and this is very good and after that uh, you can see this one the pause menu options is the pause menu okay if you click on this option button this is a pause menu then after that r1 is for reload it's up to you can put it or uh, if at all some people might be using claw so for that keep people it might be useful claw so you can use reload for r1 as well as for the square also for me square is very easy to reload and here comes the r2 that is trigger the fire button high trigger and the soft pull sensitivity is like this one okay and these are my csgo settings guys and this is perfect and you have to export uh, this config okay so to save the same settings exactly then after that go for go back with the controller now return to game i'm using my uh, ps4 controller see guys yeah i'm using my ps4 controller right now i think it's perfect now for some reason uh, the ps4 controller doesn't work on the main screen so you just need to open with mouse click on play one second guys watch stuck if anything happens like struck, I mean like you say you can see now find again. Just click on this one, find again. So I'm just going with the TDM. See sometimes the controller gets glitchy. I mean like sometimes uh, the controller doesn't respond. So what you have to do? Just unplug the cable and replug. That's it. Everything fixed up. Or else just go to your desktop menu and just come back. Everything gets fixed up. Okay, then I'm just starting my TDM. Uh, some other map. Okay, just let's go. <clears throat> As you can see, it's loading for me. I'll be just showing you the way how I play with my PS4 controller. It's connected to PC. Okay, brothers. Hope you guys enjoying my video, and you can also check out my YouTube channel, Unique Gamer Raju. I do play all the games like uh, CS:GO, Battlefield One, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops Three, almost all the new games, and daily live streamer. And you can definitely check out my channel and uh, help with your support. And guys, now let's continue. I press the X button. Now let's go. See, I'm using this analog. See, how we are. So I just join this one. See, guys, now this is very good. Yeah, I'm using my PS4 controller and he's my friend. I can't show him. Okay, now see, L2 is for jam. It's almost like works like a scuff controller. This is really awesome feature. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm loving, I mean like I'm loving after using the PS4 controller to the PC. This is very useful for all of you guys, for competitive also. 
everything uh, everything is really awesome man you don't need a keyboard or mouse and like uh, even i was planning to buy a new keyboard and mouse and after that i finally found a solution uh, it also improves your pd while playing with the ps4 controller and hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys having any doubts regarding this you can please message me have a great day bye bye guys Yeah